Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO City 2024 set review. Today we're looking at set number 60414. This is the fire station with fire truck. This is retailing for $79.99 USD or $99.99 Canadian. And I'm very excited to look at this. I love the shape and the design of this. It's very modern. There's a couple new pieces and different elements here in the set that you're going to see for the first time, which I'm very excited to show you. Spinning around here, it's a really big box, um, but yeah, very excited to look at the different details and play features inside this thing. All right, so I want to start with the fire truck because it's going to play an important part as we go through and look at the station. So I, I think the design of this is pretty nice. Honestly, there's a couple of different things here that are new. For instance, the ladder piece. Uh, this is a new piece that is able to actually line up with like existing roller coaster pieces. And yeah, I think that's just really interesting that they are keeping that. I, I don't think that this necessarily is like, oh my gosh, we're getting a roller coaster set in, in 2024. But just the fact that they were like, oh, that actually can work really well. Like you can take the figures and have them actually attach themselves to the sides there of the, uh, the rails. And then also they should, yep, they can also grab onto that bit of the ladder there as well. And we got to zoom out, of course, just to show you here, you could rotate this around and lift this up quite a lot here. And then the end bit there with the little basket, they got to climb on up and then you just attach them there to the top. And then you just bring this back on down. Now, there's no way to actually collapse this ladder, of course, and bring it in and, and shrink it and extend it like other bits before. But uh, yeah, this is pretty neat. Uh, again, the little basket in the front, it's got those two studs so that you could attach a minifigure to that. And this bit here in the back, it is fully rotatable, 360 all the way around. And you, again, can lift it and bend it different ways. Now, this is removable. You remove it and you can see here uh, what that looks like. So instead of giving you a hose for some reason, they give you this. This is literally a water turret for lack of a better word. Let's shoot it at the camera here and hopefully not my face, but, uh, there you go. You can shoot it. That's, that's neat. And you just load it up very easily here. Again, just putting it in the back and you can see how it sticks out there. And again, 360 completely turnable, spinnable, and, no hose though, that to me is disappointing for this. You can see here, we've got this brick, this one by two brick that says number one, and same here over on this side. Got some lights there, as well as a little spot in the back for you to attach it to different vehicles. I'm gonna assume that uh, there is another set that we'll talk about throughout this video that you can connect it to. You've got some steps there on the sides to help the figures get on top. You've got this, I'm assuming that's supposed to be like, hey, that's where the water's being stored. And you could open up this little compartment, nothing inside, over here on this side, anything going on there, nothing going on. There are little poles there on the side for the figures to actually grab on and attach to. And then this is the top part there that you can remove. And you've got a seat on the inside there that you can take one of the figures and have them driving. The doors on both sides of the fire truck can actually be opened up there and you close that on up. You do have a printed piece there on the top, which makes sense because I'm sure that's used and going to be used in other places. I like the front bit here of the truck as well as the little mirrors using those ingot pieces. And then you've also got uh, the front grill there and that's pretty detailed, but yeah, it does drive very smoothly there with all six wheels. But when I think of a fire truck, I, I, I do think of the hose. All right, so here it is all built up, and I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed by a couple of things throughout this thing that I just didn't realize before purchasing this set, and uh, just little details that I think they got wrong that you'll notice as we go through here, but I still stand by, like, the design of this is just so incredible, and it's unlike anything else that we've ever gotten before. It's just so sleek, so modern looking. I really love just the shaping and the design of the building itself, but down to some of the functionality and the little details inside, I think it's definitely lacking in those areas. But let's go ahead and let's go through this. All right, so I wanna start with my favorite part of the whole set. And again, that is the shaping of it. The angles here that they have created with these round pieces and then these slope bricks is just, it's remarkable. I know that maybe you could think that this is a bit repetitive since you are literally building the exact same thing on each side there, just give or take a few different places where like the doors are or like this giant beam. But overall, like 
it's remarkable. And I think that how they have even done some of the detailing down here, like the use of these tile pieces to create the little hazard strip there using the electric yellow just looks and works so well. But uh, while we're down here, I just wanna focus on this really quickly. You could easily detach these and then you would be able to, I guess you gotta do all of them, wouldn't you? You gotta do all uh, four. But once you do that, then you would be able to actually attach this to the existing city uh, base plates and road plates that they have going right now with that system. So it does give you that option. It would be very easy to do. While these aren't explicitly built on those large base plates, it is still fairly easy to connect, especially like over here if you want to detach that bit as well. Anyways, you're dying to see, I'm sure, the actual functionality of this. And so what lies behind door number one? N nothing yet. But uh, anyways, you lift it up and it's really easy to open and close and it gets locked in there pretty well there. And you just got to touch it a little bit and it will actually close on up. So that is really cool. You should be able to see just a little bit more here how that actually closes and opens here from this side, how that whole door slides up into the top part there of the build. But because it does store vehicles, there is literally nothing going on inside there, which is fine. You do actually have uh, this little glass door over here that lets you enter in from the side with this huge beam holding up the top part of the firehouse. All right, so let's park the fire truck inside. Let's open up door number one and bring in vehicle number one. And you just keep going until you could see right there, those little bits there. I think that's meant to actually be a little bit of a blocker so that the tires get stuck there and they won't go past. So it just holds it in nicely. But this is where one of my issues comes in is that if I wanna close it with the truck, you physically cannot because of the size of this. Then if you look at it here from the side, look how much it's hanging out. So in order for you to close this up, if you really wanted to there, you would have to then reverse it even more. Then, and it's getting stuck. So just close it first and then bring the truck in. And that's how much you're having hanging out of the side of the building. That's not good. And I was thinking maybe you get two of these, put them back to back. But even then I'm looking at the length of this and it just is not possible with the doors. And you could see as well, just from the side there, just a little bit of the functionality of, of how it's attached to the sides of the walls. But that to me is just sad that you can't fit that. I'm sure some of the other fire vehicles can probably fit inside here, but I guess it's fine. They would also maybe leave the door open just because they are always ready to actually go on a call. Uh, and, uh, you know, they're, they're not going to wait for the gate to open. That's just ready to go, right? But I don't know. That, to me, is a bit of a missed opportunity. All right, so coming back here to the center, we have a water bowl for the dog. We have a axe there on the wall. And then you've also got a spot there. I guess you could put the fire extinguisher or the drone remote that you'll see later on. But uh, over here in the back, you could see you've got two little spots to have your fire helmets there. And they are on these orbs. And I was like, what are these for when I'm building it? I had no clue. But yeah, they're meant to actually put the little masks there on top of that. You could see on the left... It says number one, and then you've got a little water symbol, and it is the fire truck included here. When you come over here to number two, you could see this is actually one of the other sets, and it gives you a little bit of an information about that, the water levels and different things there. And these both are just on these little hinged pieces here that you could sort of rotate and move if you want to have it completely flat against the wall or on an angle like that. We'll come back to the pole in a second, but uh, the two entrance ways to both of the garages are the exact same. These big uh, doorways there that were introduced a couple years ago. And that leads us back over here to door number two. And I, I didn't mention this before, but we got these little lights up there at the top, which is cool. And just how they've written the numbers as well. Like that tile piece is incredible. And here with door number two, really great. And uh, yeah, exact same design, just reflected there. And you could close it on up very easily, just like the other side, of course. On this side, we've got one of the big doorways there. So I'm not sure why they did that. Like why not have another door like on the other side or give us a double door here or just a gray wall. Like that is just strange to me.
So while there may not be a way to actually get up to the top level, unless you use the ladder from the truck, you can, of course, go down and you just attach one of the figures there to that little handle and you just drop them. Uh, it's not a swivel bar. It's not one of the fancy ones that like has them spin as they go down. So I think that's another missed opportunity here. And here is a blatant mistake. Uh, this little computer panel here it says number three and i was like "Ooh, if they have them numbered i'm gonna be tempted i'm gonna want to get the helicopter i'm gonna want to get the other car but no the helicopter is actually number four the boat that the car down below that little garage that's two and three so they mislabeled this here i get why it would be three in terms of like you've got door one two and then three but the fact that that's wrong I no longer am really even interested in getting that helicopter. I have fire helicopters I could easily put on here. Maybe I'll go get that tile of number three and change it. But anyways, this is the little helicopter pad. You can rotate it and angle it around depending on how you want the helicopter to land. But I love how it's on an angle, just like the computer panel there. And you do have those tiles here as well, creating that little bit of a warning hazard. Uh, over here, just the spot where you drop down. I like the lights sort of like, you know, making sure hey by the way don't just step off and remember to grab onto the pole um here is the little office section and it's it doubles as a couple of things but you've got some leaves here uh i'm not sure if like those are plants growing just leaves that have blown there i feel like it's plants that have grown pretty sure so maybe add some flowers or something there but again the lights and different things you do have this other light here that can sort of be angled and moved just a little bit and uh, this is a printed piece there that really cool fire emblem and coming over here onto this side it's a bit scratched up this glass piece that i have but i do like the shaping and everything here that they've got for the windows and uh, up at the top You've got this little satellite dish that can just angle and move around there. And uh, yeah, the top, nothing else going on here, but that's fine. I do like that they used uh, this piece for the top where like it's not all studs. I think that just makes, again, it adds to the sleekness of this set. And how do you get access to the office? Well, you just open up that door there and you walk on through and you've got a bed there as well as a coffee machine. You've got a hot dog there, a, a, a sausage which is in an interesting color here in medium nougat. I'm not sure if I've gotten that before. And then you've got this little seat here to look at. You've got some news there, someone screaming about their tent, I guess, some fire in the woods. That is a reference to the set with the boat and the car that I've been talking about. And I think that's what that is there on the map. This is one of my favorite little details. So you've got a park there with some trees. Again, so I'm assuming that's what that is with that little tent symbol. Then down below this, that is the prison island, which we reviewed, which is an incredible set. And then that is the fire station, this building. So I love that little map. That's such a cute little detail. All right, looking at the side build here, you can see we've got the drone operator and this little drone with a sticker there on that one by three tile. It's interesting, this little missile launcher, this stud shooter, that actually was already pre-built. I didn't have to attach that. So yeah, I'm not sure if that's something they're doing more of, but you've got the little propellers there used for steering wheels. And then you've got this little bonfire or this trash can is caught on fire. And then you just take the drone and... There you go. You could shoot out the fire. And I guess another way you could do that is taking the missile launchers here too uh, from the truck and shooting it out that way. All right, so starting things off here with the fire chief, you could see here he's got this really cool outfit with the jacket with you could see a little bit of like the shirt showing through there as well as you've got that uh, same fire emblem that you've seen a couple of times in the set already. But uh, you can remove the fin hair in light gray, which is really great. And you could see his face underneath there. The beard is pretty detailed. He's even got a bit of white scruff there at the top. But included with him, and the reason I think this is the chief, is you've got this white version of the helmet that they put on there and that's pretty neat and these are actually if i remove it they are dual molded or is i, I think yeah they i was going to say it's printed but no you can see that little white injection point there too i just want to say with these it's weird there's no oxygen masks included not sure when that was phased out of city but yeah i think that's weird like i thought oh, okay maybe they're printed onto the back of the torsos they're not
This is probably my favorite figure in the set. I just really love the torso. The fact that it is the shirt there, but with the overalls there as well as the arms being shown, that's really great. And you can see here, uh, she's got this smirk on one side and then this winking expression on the other. And again, the overalls printed there onto the back. All right, now this is actually maybe my favorite figure just because he's got fire pajamas on. It's just so wacky and cute. I love all the different flames, the sizes, and then also like the pattern there at the top of the collar for the pajamas. That's a lot of fun. And it is dark red, so maybe I am being a little biased here, but uh, I love the yawning expression there. Like he just woke up and when I remove the hair, you could see on the back, he's got this big smirk. Here is one of the regular firefighters here, and you can see what the outfit looks like there. It's a little different than the rest of everyone else's, um, you'll see. And you've got a little bit of like a dial there. I think that's also supposed to be like a walkie-talkie. And you've got a fire extinguisher, which is blue for some reason. You could see on the side there of the hair, if I remove it, you get a better look. She's got a hearing aid, which is really cool. And when they do that, unfortunately, like stretches part of the face. I hope Lego figures that out and fixes that, but uh, back with the torso, pretty detailed. And also with her, uh, you do actually get that helmet that you saw before on those stands, and you could just take that there and put it on top, and uh, that is what she looks like. Here is the drone operator. Again, different torso there. You've got a lot of red there at the top, but besides that, it's, it's pretty similar. The dial's a little bit more red there. You could see the little control panel there for the drone operator also didn't mention like the leg printing. It's the same for everyone. Really great. And the back torso is pretty neat too. And you've got just a regular smirk there on that side and this big smile on the other. And of course, again, included is this helmet for him as well. And last but certainly not least, the final member of the team is this little fire dog. Really cute. I love just the electric yellow little attachment that you've got on. It is dual molded, so it's not removable, but it's a very cute little piece here included in the set. All right, well, there you have it, everyone. That is my review of the fire station and fire truck. I forgot to show just a couple of things here that I want to do. Uh, you could take this, and you could put it a couple of different places here. You, if you want, you, you could put it on the helipad there and actually have it be like a turret, I guess. I like to think that you could also put it up here at the top. I don't know. Why am I making it with a turret? Because I'm being crazy here and coming up with this idea. You could also take the drone, you could store it up here if you want to, or you could also take that and put it over here onto the helipad. Again, a couple of different places there because of that one stud. And one of the reasons I really love City in general and cover it here on the channel and why I love this set is because it's a good addition for your superhero world. You could take Firefly here from DC and, you know, have him trying to burn down the fire station. Then you could take your Batman figure and boom. And there you go. You've got Batman trying to stop Firefly here, burning down the Gotham City fire station. But taking off the superhero lenses here for a second, of course, yes, it is a very modern and sleek looking design of a building. But there is a couple of things here and there that I definitely think could be improved on that we talked about throughout this video. But overall, it is still a very fun set, a good addition to your city, I think especially since you are still able to connect this to the sort of modularity system that they've got going on with the base plates. But anyways, everyone, be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on future LEGO City set news and reviews and superheroes, of course, as well. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope you all have a great day. We'll see you all in the next one.